Atheists debating random people on the street without any type of preparation or agreed upon points. F interesting format. Great content. Um, I didn't think it was cool when Crowder did it. <laughs> I don't think it's cool when they do it, but let's take a look. Maybe I am wrong. If I tell my wife, if you don't love me, I'm going to set you on fire. Am I a loving, good husband? If you set her on fire, then you never loved her to begin with. And if God sends us to hell, he never loved us to begin with. Ooh. Wrong. <laughs> okay. This is the age old, like, how could a good God send people to hell? How could a loving God send people to hell? Here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. God gives you what you want. Everybody wants to go to heaven. A lot of y'all just don't want Jesus to be there when you get there. You you want to go to heaven. You just don't want to be in the presence of a holy God because you didn't want to have anything to do with the holy God on this side of eternity because you know better. You're smarter than God. You you got it figured out. So it's easier to 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 say, well, you know, a good God won't send people to hell. And it removes the reality that folks send themselves to hell. Folks send themselves to hell. Folks who reject Jesus and say, yeah, I know. I've heard this whole thing from natural law, from uh, the, 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 my conscience and the way God wired me to know right from wrong, from just common sense that you can't get intricate design from nothing. You can't get intricate design and intelligent design from an unintelligent source, from the, the story of the resurrection. I refuse to have anything to do with God. Why would those people want to go to heaven? Why would, why would God allow those people into heaven? It makes no sense to me. So this is such a it's such a silly conversation because it's actually it's it's so intellectually weak that you're not really engaging with the conversation. It it would be more like if you say you love your spouse and your spouse continues cheating on you and continues abusing you and continues lying to you and continues humiliating you and then you go, "All right, go. Go ahead. Go." And then they go in and shipwreck their lives and destroy their their entire home. And then and then and then they're like, "Well, why why didn't you chase me into my insanity?" No, you left, you goober. You chose that for your life. I didn't do that to you. You did it to yourself. You are the one that 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 dishonored me, humiliated me, spit in my face, and crucified me. Right? That would be the that would be a more fa a fair parallel. Go ahead. Hey, I'm glad that atheists go to heaven as long as they used to be Christians. Oh, no, there will be a lot of very bad people in and hell. And there will be a lot of good a people of in hell. There will, absolutely. Yeah. Be so that is a messed up yeah. system, right, Where that ends up where bad people are rewarded and evil people are condemned. I, I think well, that's Well, actually, pathetic. that's a very, very good God who says all you need to do to make it to heaven is believe in him. So you don't have to be that's a decent kind of human being. You just have to believe of the right thing. You can be a human Candidate, being, right? treat people it's, like garbage, yep. and believe the right thing, yep. and you think that's morality. I think that's what the scriptures say. Do you, you agree believe. with it? I believe that's what the scriptures say. I'm not advocating do, doing you it. Don't, so you don't advocate for the scriptures? I think you will be a very <laughs> bad witness if you do it, and that he died for you, wow. and anyone that he died for, that he yeah. needs to believe in him. Okay. And that's all he asked you to do. I think your religion is morally bankrupt. Hey, you want to see something kind of crazy over 75 percent of the people that watch this channel are not subscribed please consider subscribing and turning your bell notification on so that you don't miss anything we have going here so here's the issue here what 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 grounds does she have to stand on to make a claim on what is moral if there is no god you how can anything be evil if there's no source of good that defines what is good and what is evil so, so you're borrowing from God and the moral objective reality without ever acknowledging that there is a God. There is no good or evil. There is no right or wrong. There is no morals. It's all what, what people collectively decide on. So the entire conversation is null and void because how do you get how do you get to decide what's good? You can't decide what's good because you're you're just another person, right? Now, then we would we would scale it over to like, and what do you even mean by decent and good person? Who decides what's decent and good? You do? Because man, I'm sure the Germans thought they were decent and good people when they were destroying the Jews in their mind to whatever rationalization they had. They thought they thought that they thought they were good. It was collectively celebrated amongst the society. 
These people were bad. We're going to extradite them. They were good in their own mind amongst themselves today. We have people that think it's good to terminate unborn babies. Sometimes some of these people will be flat out honest with you and agree that they are babies and that they should be allowed to be terminated up until the point of birth. A very small major, uh, minority, but guys like Hassan will openly tell you this. Yeah, up until birth, sure. Well, are they good? Because we call that good. It's a woman's cho It's a woman's choice. It's a woman's choice. Hey, did you know that you can watch videos like this on the Spotify app? We now are on Spotify under Ruslan Bless God Podcast. So if you're driving and you want to go back and forth between listening to the podcast and just the audio or watching the video, consider doing it now on the Spotify app as well as all podcast platforms. All right, I'll see you over there. So how do we even decide what is decent and what is good if there is no standard and there is no God? You're just grasping at straws for that for that point. So it's I think it's silly. This this entire thing is like well you're borrowing from God. And what she did too was super slick, which was uh set the premise that being Christian means living a horrible life and then on your deathbed you f turn it all around and you go to heaven. And the people that lived a good life then go to hell. When and then she says that's what your scriptures say. Yeah. That's actually not what the scriptures say. <laughs> that's not what the scriptures say. The scriptures don't say live a morally bankrupt life and at the very end turn it around. It says it says that it that is possible. Dear friends, you always followed my instructions when I was with you, and now that I am away, it is even more important. Work hard to show the results of your translation uh, salvation, obeying God with deep reverence and fear, for God is working in you, giving you the desires and the power to do what pleases him. That's the Christian life. The Christian life is not bedside confession those that's the exception that's not the rule the the rule the, the standard is work out your own salvation and by the way it's god that's doing the work in you god is working in you and he's giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases him this is all throughout the old and new testament when it's talking about this concept of the spirit dwelling in us we're yeah. attacking the organization as a whole like the crusades crusades are fine i mean crusades are fine crusades are very complicated and had uh, a lot of things that were wrong with them. And some of them were uh, trying to get land back. I'm not sure if we would say the Crusades were fine, though. Hmm. Hey, Why yeah, were they I fine? I was trying to post you. Uh, no, no, no. I Why were the Crusades so the, okay? The fact that the Catholic they, Church they, sent they... people to slaughter innocent people across the Middle East with the promise of heaven if they killed as many women and children as possible. That was a good thing? The framing of this is, I think, a bit disingenuous. The Crusades, depending on who you ask, was them attempting to go back and take back the Holy Land or, or Jerusalem and these places that were taken captive by Islam. So when do you want to start the timeline of this entire conversation? And the women and children aspect of it, I, I'm not sure where he's pulling that from. I would need a source on that. Where, where are we saying that the Crusades... Uh, were instructing them to go instead of taking back land to preemptively attack. I, I, I believe that the original crusades and the moral purpose they fulfilled were, of course, a net positive to spread God's word as far as possible. Uh, I don't know about that either. I don't know about that either. The crusades were attempting to take back what was lost when Muhammad conquered a lot of that region of the world. By by the sword, just just yeah. so we're talking about the same. Whether or not you yeah, agree, and how did that start? How did that process start? Who started it? <laughs> Some stuff I'm not allowed to talk about on YouTube. But who started it? What of happened? Course, of course, spreading spreading God's word by killing sword. people who don't believe in it. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, he... That that wasn't the point of the Crusades, by the way. That was not the point of the Crusades. It came with a sword. Yes. I'm to the book. Okay. I, I, the, so, I don't like wow. right, right away. Right away. Right away. Yeah, that's an L take from her, and that's an L take from them in terms of the way they're presenting uh, history. And, and you're talking to, to us you. about moral standards. We're yeah. attacking the organization as a whole. Yeah, that's an L. That's that's a big L. You should take down the number at the bottom of the short and call in next time. Uh, I don't I don't care to call in and talk to these guys. I I would be down to talk to them in person. I have atheists in my life that I genuinely enjoy talking to. This is why we talk about how did how did the crusades even happen? What was the objective? What was going on? How did we get to the place where uh, Jerusalem was lost and 
all, all these things that happened, it wasn't. It, they weren't. They, they, the Crusades were reactionary, reactionarily wrong in a lot of the stuff that they did, but they weren't these random like we're just gonna go to places that we have nothing to do with, right? Um, so context matters. Now that doesn't mean that the ends justify the means. It doesn't mean that them going in and doing the brutal things that were done was okay. But it doesn't. It also doesn't mean that Islam spreading with the sword was okay. You know. So I think I think uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll do a, we'll do a deep dive on the the Crusades because it's it's actually a bit more complicated than they're being presented here. Hey, this is a segment from our daily after party stream. Consider partnering with us online for as little as five dollars a month to get access to these daily after party streams completely unedited. You'll also get access to our podcast as they are streamed live into the community before anyone else gets to see them, get to interact with our guests, get access to our private Discord server, and a discount code for our store for as little as $5 a month. Ultimately, that will help towards helping us continue contextualizing the gospel using media and podcast here on YouTube. All right, I'll see you over there. Peace.